Moving on, the Social Democratic Party in Monday in Abuja received a letter of intent by Barrister Diwali Adibayo declaring his intentions for the position of President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria come 2023. The barrister is said to be a third person in the party to declare same intention. Now here's more details from Captain TV correspondent Mavis Ako. Adopting a party for the general election come 2023 Barrister Adewale Adebayo, a presidential aspirant, has emerged from the Social Democratic Party, SDP. The barrister made this known to reporters on Monday in Abuja while submitting his letter of intent to the party received by the National Secretary, Shehu Musa Gabam. On the lowest, uh, we've seen men and women groups, different groups, students, young, old, experienced, Nigerians at home in diaspora and the common thing is that they expect the Social Democratic Party to exhibit internal democracy, a well-grounded uh, system of mass participation and to conduct a very competent uh, electoral process like we did in 1993 and to give Nigeria a better election and a better victory than that of MQ Abiola in, on June 12, 1993. Uh, to cement this, I, I brought this letter uh, to the party. There's a copy for the National Secretary. For presidential aspirant Adewale Adebayo, hope again for Nigerians come 2023 is inevitable as he commits to the eradication of poverty and insecurity across the country. You are dealing with one issue. Uh, another manifestation of the same problem uh, comes up. You are the one documenting all the issues in the country. Uh, what I've decided to do is to come into the arena and offer myself with a set of um, uh, solutions to these problems and to ensure that Nigeria is not a country whose story is told, that Nigeria has so many problems but no solutions to them. I believe that for every of the problems we have in this country, we have solutions to them. What has been missing is the leadership character that would offer uh, the necessary discipline and commitment and sacrifice uh, to apply the solutions that we have. While on the current state of the nation, Barista Adewale describes the process of the current government running the affairs of the country as the same antics of kidnappers. Electricity is not witchcraft. It can easily be generated. Why does it not work in government? Because the money voted in the name of power or energy is spent for politics. Now we have too much money, yet as is on strike. Why? Because as soon as the money accumulated, the people in politics took over the Ministry of Education and started sharing the money. So there is too much money right now for our education that we don't have it it's the same solution to unemployment it's a competent government that is determined to solve the problem we have enough in our security infrastructure and architecture to nip these bandits in the bud and to get rid of Boko Haram and all the other insecurity it is because this thing has been turned to a business that is why the problem persists there's nothing complicated about it once you have a commander-in-chief who is determined to get rid of it and not turn into a career for some people, a business for some other people, and a way of compensating political uh, associates who will get rid of this problem of insecurity. I have confidence in Nigerian armed forces. Nigerian forces and Nigerian security agencies are so strong that they are sufficient to secure the whole of West Africa if they are properly led. That, there's no doubt about that. Meanwhile, the Social Democratic Party, SDP, is said to have four presidential aspirants for the 2023 presidential election in counting. From Abuja, Mavis Ako, Captain TV News.